more on Halo Talks NYC. I am on location in San Diego with a friend of mine, Jared Williams, CEO and founder of Dynamic Fitness out of Houston. So it took us uh, to both travel to San Diego to meet in person. So I'm glad we might as well tape our uh, our visit. It's a pleasure being here. Cool. Welcome, uh, welcome to the show. And uh, you know, a couple of things to talk about today. One is you know understand your progression through the industry and you know starting out. You know, actually learning the business uh, under 24 and then, you know, moving into your own, uh, you know, entrepreneurial path and, um, you know, how uh, how it is to be an entrepreneur and, you know, when it, you know, how, how, how you feel from a competitive standpoint. So we'll, we'll, we'll lay it all out there. So why don't you give people your background first and we'll go from there. Cool. Yeah, actually, I'm uh, from a small area in, uh, around the Beaumont Port Arthur uh, location here in, in Texas, uh, Bruce City, Texas, you know, about 7,000 people. Uh, so, uh, you know, coming up, uh, you know, I always wanted to, uh, I was always competitive in sports and, uh, you know, uh, always had that overall side to me of, uh, of, of the leadership side and also uh, the competitiveness of, uh, of, of the sports that I did throughout the overall year. So was able to be fortunate enough to uh, uh, go off and, uh, and play collegiate football and had a great time doing that. And uh, what was a great thing that I learned about collegiate football or football beyond was just uh, it didn't matter about uh, what uh, if you, where you were from or uh, you know, where you were born. It was uh, everybody had a common goal together. Sure. And uh, everybody unified together, work hard together up to the ups and downs in order to be able to uh, go forward, man, to be able to get to the, the unified goal that everybody had together. Gotcha. So what what do you think about, um, I, I used to play ho- uh, college sports uh, in no, high school, and then I played in college on some club teams, but um, being part of a team and, and then getting into business, like you act a certain way. It's not like I played golf and I played, you know, singles tennis and I was, you know, in archery. Like everything was about being a part of a team. So how did that kind of, shape you and, and your personality and then you know getting into uh the industry you know like why you went into the industry was maybe like a progression of like hey man i still want to play sports but i just kind of can't do it full time absolutely good question man because it's just it's all about uh, work uh, not only just working together but it's a it's a team sport everybody's got to pull their weight everybody's got to be able to execute their overall assignments and and doing that and understanding about uh, the different formations uh, the different alignments but also uh, just making sure that everybody stays focused on the ups and downs uh, there on the overall field and just being that uh, that overall team leader kind of just transforms into the overall business world because it is the same. Everybody's got to execute. Everybody's got to work together. And uh, somebody's got to take, keep everybody uh, unified on the overall end goal and also the overall end vision. Yeah. And one of the things that we actually we don't have these uh, calendars here, but we got these calendars and we got a W and L on every in every day because I want people to understand, like, you, you're a professional business person as you were, you know, a, a college or a high school athlete, like you're not going 30 and L. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, don't, don't yeah, just, no. just don't think you can, right? Don't shoot like, there you yeah. Go. Right. You're just not, you're not going, you're not going 30, you know, and 360, you know, for the year. So like deal with the fact that like good things are going to happen. Bad things are going to happen. You're going to manage through them. So a buddy of mine, we were helping him sell his business and, um, He's like, every day I feel like I'm losing. And he was my sweeper, and I was, I was the goalie. So he's like a very important individual to me. And um, he's going through business, and he's like, this isn't working. I got to sell my company. I got a big partnership. And I'm like, all right, let's do the W&L thing. We did it for a month, and he was like 18 and 12. I'm like, all right, look, you're not top of the division, but, you know, you're winning more than you're losing. So you got to keep the perspective. So, you know, you, you, your clubs are down in, in, in Texas, and, you know, you've obviously had some natural disasters, and you've had, you know, the struggles of, you know, like every business of growing pain. So how have you kind of managed through that? What are the lessons learned, you know, the disciplines that you kind of put forward and, you know, that you live by? Well, absolutely. I mean, uh, the, the concept of, of, of even creating dynamic to begin with, right, it was just uh, just uh, of an overall passion of mine and an overall vision that I had that I really didn't even know what that was. Uh-huh. And just stepping into it, I mean, it, obviously it was a whole lot harder than what I thought it was going to be. I and mean, just uh, overwhelming would be, uh, I guess, an understatement. So Yeah, that's the truth, right? Everybody doesn't, like, uh, as, as entrepreneurs, as business people, you got to always say, look, man, I got this under control. I know exactly what I'm going into. Like, follow me. And at the same time, you're like, shit, dude, I've never actually gone through this door before. And I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but I'm going to, 
I'm gonna man up and just you know f- attack. I'm telling, you, and it's just, and that's what it is. It's just about, it's about you know, really taking a step back and really uh, learn how to be able to deal with the hurdles and evolve in the overall business and learning from each mistake that's made and be able to just keep moving forward. That's just the the biggest thing that uh, that uh, has been our overall benefactor with this because rebounding for where we overall started in Pearland and uh, the uh, this team actually uh, pulling together and uh, growing out to our, to our Sugarland location and uh, more after that. It's really helped us not only to, uh, to, to devise an overall concept, man, but it's also to be able to give us a, a sound product along the way. So it, it, I don't live in your area, so if I was in your area, you know, what would how, how would you define what you're doing? How is it differentiated from some of the other players in the space? And um, I, I've got a view on it, but why don't I hear it directly from you and we can talk about the competitive landscape and why clubs like yours and your business is going to exist because it serves a pretty significant part of the market. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's all about the member experience at the end of the day. It's all about making sure that that person, when they walk into those doors, how are they impacted? Uh, it could be anything from, uh, you know, the way that they're greeted, the way the club's presented, laid out, uh, cleanliness, anything. Uh, it's just making sure that every time that a member steps through those doors, they're having a great experience and uh, having to work out their life. So uh, also to just to make sure that we have the amount of, of, of value and abundance for these guys to be able to make sure that they not only have an effective workouts, but they have different choices to mm-hmm. give them the most bang for their buck of uh, their overall workout dollars. So what's the size of an average dynamic and, you know, what's in the box? Uh, anything from, uh, I think it was 30 to 35,000 square feet. I mean, we have, a, we're full service. We have tanning. We have uh, my zone uh, interactive wearables. We have, uh, was it functional ter- training areas, dedicated uh, turf hit areas. Gotcha. Uh, we have studio style classes. You know, you name it, we got it. I mean, that's the whole thing we want to be able to provide is an overall umbrella of different amenities that our, our clients can engage in to be able to give them a great experience. Got it. So, you know, you started this, what, about 10 years ago? 10 years ago, yeah. So, you know, what, um, how do you feel about where you're positioned now? Obviously, you got your, you know, your Planet Fitness, which I kind of call, you know, like a nice little laundromat, you know, and that's cool. And that's a great place. Um, and you've got your higher end clubs, you know, in New York, you've got like an Equinox or you probably got a Lifetime Fitness, bait clubs on the West Coast. You know, so how do you kind of say, all right, one is not only am I serving like your equipment needs, which, you know, I can do <laughs> no problem. This guy I got plenty of space, but I'm also actually helping you get results <laughs> and live a better lifestyle. And, and for people to understand that like 70 percent of the market is the market that you're in. And look, Planet's kind of like a feeder. And people that want to go to a country club, they should go. You know, I'm not trying to get everybody, but the 70% of the market in the middle, I can provide these services for, and I know what they want. So talk a little bit about that. You know, Pete, that's a great question. And and I didn't even talk too much about it is because I started in this industry as a personal trainer. So I understand the value of making sure that people see the results and get into an overall program that's going to give them the benefactor and keep them positive and keep them going. Mm-hmm. So uh, there's four things that, man, that we uh, that like to be able to get people in when they walk into those doors. Number one, we try to get them in our diet results program. The diet results program is designed customized with our personal trainers. Two, it's some sort of D-Fit team training. Uh, that way they're in some sort of buddy program, they're in something that's accountable, that's it's customizable, and it's also repetitive throughout the week. They get results to our studio studio style classes, to our my zone inter- interactive wearables. And again, the whole reason we're trying to be able to do this is get them funneled into a community. Mm-hmm. That way, they have some sort of uh, guidance and engagement. Again, it all boils back down to results. Yeah, that's great. And um, you know, as you see these different models coming out, you've been doing this for ten years. You know, you know that there's irrational development. Just like, um, you know, in the restaurant industry or any kind of retail business, you know, this is probably the easiest business for someone to get angel money from some, you know, someone that they train that that says, you know, like, hey, you need 50 grand or 100 grand to open up a studio. Like, of course, I'm going to do that for you. I'd probably be dead if like you didn't, you know, train me when I needed you. Um, At the same time, when somebody goes from from being a trainer you know, and, and been becoming a business entrepreneur like you successfully did, you know, it's a lot of hard work. I mean, it's things that you have no idea you needed to do. <laughs> you got like QuickBooks. I got like taxes. I got payroll. I mean, there's a lot going on. If you knew it, you wouldn't have done it to begin you with. Would. Yeah, of course not. Of course you'd be like, dude, I'm just going to keep my job. I'm going to keep that person as a member and not I'm, as my lender. I'm good. I'm good. Member to <laughs> yeah. lender. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, you know, when, as you see like, all right, Planet Fitness is doing this and like everyone's talking about da, da, da. And then on the high end, oh, they're doing this. How do you kind of say, look, I know what I'm doing. I've been around for a while. This shit works. 
and I'm not changing it. And there's going to be noise, and I'm going to react, but I'm not going to go, like, totally throw my business model upside down. Yeah, well, the, you know, the HPLP with the, the Planets and uh, Fitness Connection, we got a great uh, a bunch of guys uh, down in Houston that we compete with. But, I mean, at the end, it's all about uh, the value of your of your overall facilities. You know, how's the overall cleanliness? What value do you provide? What amenities do you provide versus your competitor? Yep. But also the separation point is, man, what results and what experience are they getting? Because you can't you can't uh, with it, put a price on that because, uh, like what some people tell me, you know, the best-paying member is a member that don't check in. Wrong. Yeah. Like, you yeah. got to have your members engaged because they're, they're your best brand ambassadors and uh, they're your best source of referrals. So I, I know plenty of guys that own Planet Fitness and 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 the crew there and on the corporate side. I like everybody, but there's a there's a report on there, a, uh, a equity analyst report on Planet Fitness and their talent, like how awesome Planet Fitness is. It's going to be the Amazon of the gym industry. <laughs> and I'm reading this deck, and I'm on page 20, and the, and the, and the the research report's over. In the words, results <laughs> was not in the deck, <laughs> right? And I'm like, you're running a gym, all right? You're running a fitness center. You're marketing out there like no judgments, okay? But no judgments should not mean no results, right? Like we got to get people healthy. Yeah, absolutely. And again, that, that's their model. That's their philosophy. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, uh, uh, they, they're, they're well at doing what they do. I guess the, the overall concept with that is it is hard, man, to be able to, uh, to, be able to engage with the, with the overall clients uh, and also to be able to manage the fitness staff. But at the end, uh, that's, the, that's the best connectivity that you're going to have within that overall fitness facility. And, but I, the, I 100% agree. You know, the, the best thing is, is whenever you get a client results and they do have a great experience, you'll have an ambassador for life. Yeah, they tell, they tell everyone it's the best market you can do. And by the way, look, Planets, look, they got, they're serving 15 million people. I'm just hoping more more than the average person to actually get some results out of there and then graduates up and then we can get them to kind of curate the next batch of people and this could be a very fruitful proposition because the Planet Fitness make a lot of money and everyone else should make a lot of money and what our, one of our goals and initiatives over the next couple of years is to force all these health insurance companies to, to pay full price for the membership because why the fuck not? Dude, if I go into a health, if I go into, if I go to a hospital, it's $4,000. Right. So, OK, can you pay 600 bucks for me to go there or do you want to pay the four grand when I when I show up? Because because I'm going to show up and it ain't going to be one day for four grand. It's going to be like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah, well, you know, the statistics now uh, days are showing that uh, that not working now is almost the equivalency of smoking now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, New York City, uh, it, it's about as clean of an environment as it's ever been. You know, you used to be smoking in the bars. You have to get, like, your your, uh, your, your suit, like, cleaned every every night because, like, you'd be go out. Thankfully, I don't go there anymore. I can go to, like, a workout class instead. There you go. That's where I take all my clients now. I expense all my workouts <laughs> instead of expensing my, my Moscow mules. The Moscow mules. Yeah. There you go. So, so when, when you look to the future and you say, okay, look, there's a lot going on in this space. I got a great team. You know, talk about the, the people that are on your team and, you know, wh where you see the future, you know, what you'd like to build, you know, whether it's in the Houston DMA or, what, you know, where do you want to go further on and how, the, how you think about it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think we got a great team. They're bought into our overall vision. We got a lot of loyal members as well. I mean, I've been with us with the overall ups and downs. Uh, I think everybody understands and supports the vision we're trying to be able to do and just the, the concept we're trying to build a branch. Uh, the first step, man, is taking over the city of Houston. So that way that you, we can have an overall uh, club versus our competitors. Cause we, again, we go up against 24 hour fitness, we go up against uh, LA fitness, a lot of, a lot of big names, right? So uh -huh. we've got to come correct with something. We got to be right. able to make sure that we have uh, the amenities that, our, our overall members want, our future members want, and a separating factor as far as that experience goes. So, what, why do you, um, do people in your market know that you're like homegrown, like hometown? Yeah, they do. Uh, again, right. I'll, I'll tell them right now if you want. Uh, uh, yeah, All right, yeah ahead, hometown, John. dynamic hometown heroes. Homegrown, right? Homegrown. Homegrown in the city of Houston. Organic, farm <laughs> to farm to gym to table. Yeah, so I mean, that's 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 the uh, the thing that we want to be able to do is uh, uh, is uh, you know support the Houstonian market when it comes to this and give them an o uh, overall awesome product that uh, that started ground zero man in Pearland, Texas back in two thousand nine. Love it. How many locations you have now? Well, we have three right now. Excellent. And um, you know, how's the city of Houston doing? Bouncing back? I mean, it's a, it's a third largest city in the country, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's huge. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So um, you know. Congrats on the uh, on the success to date. I love that we share the same uh, 
you know, ethos of like how we're gonna do this. And it's all based on getting people results and making them happy and making them, you know, feel better about themselves. And then that just gets passed on and it's a, it's a halo effect or a dynamic halo effect. That's right, man. Call it that. There you go, I like that. All right, I'm glad we met and uh, appreciate you coming on the show. Appreciate me having me. All right, bro. Thanks.